Hello friend, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Maddie if you're new here and today we are doing a vegan Costco haul. I just got back from Costco. So I'm going to show you everything we got today and how I plan to use it. Let's get into it. We're going to start with a couple items that I really stocked up on. I noticed that I had been getting these every few times that I went to Costco. So I decided to just get quite a few today. The first of those items is this Better Than Bouillon broth paste. We absolutely love this for making soup. It's of course a lot less packaging than a box of veggie broth and it makes so many servings. I think one of these jars actually makes a hundred servings and we do go through these pretty quickly because we make a lot of soup in this house especially in winter. So I just wanted to have these on hand as backup so I ended up getting six of them and these should hopefully last us the rest of soup season and probably beyond. We'll probably still be using them in the summer. My husband will still eat soup in the summer. It, the heat doesn't bother him. So I'm actually really curious to see how long six of these will last us. The next Next item that I stocked up on is the organic soy milk from Costco. I have just found that their price seems to beat everybody else, especially with rising grocery prices these days. The organic soy milk has just stayed pretty much the same price and it's a really good value for six cartons. So we use this pretty much every morning in either our oatmeal, my husband uses it in his coffee, I use it in baking, making waffles and pancakes, etc. It's basically our go-to plant milk of choice. So we use probably about six cartons in a month sometimes a little bit more if I do like some batch cooking of waffles or pancakes and so same with the better than bouillon broth paste I was just like why am I not getting a whole bunch of these to stock up on with the baby coming I think that we're not gonna want to go to Costco quite as often so I decided to get extra and this way we won't have to buy them for a while up next is our freezer items we actually changed fridges pretty recently and our freezer space is not nearly what it used to be I have had to cut like my freezer purchases pretty much in half, which honestly was very, very sad. I feel like I'm always running out of freezer storage now. But in addition to that, I have noticed that Costco's prices for organic frozen fruit haven't been that good lately. So I have been not buying their frozen fruit at all. Basically in the last like six months, I've been buying it at no frills instead. But I did the price comparison for this one and also the organic blueberries that I ended up getting and both of the prices were better than no frills today so I decided to get these two for our oatmeal and we also use them to top things like pancakes and waffles and then of course for smoothies things like that as well so this one I don't love that they have like individual packages inside of the big package but at least it does make it a little bit easier to store in your freezer that's really the main advantage for me I take all of the packages out and just store them individually in the freezer and this one is also nice because it's a blend of a few different kinds of fruit, whereas this one is just blueberries. I was actually surprised to see an organic option for these wild blueberries because usually when I buy Costco's blueberries, they have always been just the pesticide-free regular wild blueberries. They didn't have the organic certification. So these ones seem like almost the same price, maybe like a couple dollars more expensive than what I used to pay, but I think that's just general inflation. So generally they're the same price and they're organic. So I thought that was a pretty good deal actually. These two are also going into the freezer. Of course, you could also just refrigerate them, but if you haven't heard of the tofu hack, you have got to try it out. Basically, if you freeze and then defrost your tofu, the texture improves quite a bit and you don't actually need to do a full press with it. You can just wring out the excess moisture with your hands. So it's a really good alternative to using a tofu press. You get that really nice firm texture without any extra effort. So I always just buy a bunch of tofu and store it in the freezer. These three packs of organic extra firm tofu at Costco are still a pretty great price. So I've just been buying tofu there. If you guys have seen tofu at the regular grocery stores lately, I don't know, let me know if it's just my stores, but I feel like at the regular grocery stores, it is getting so expensive for tofu. So I'm really glad that the Costco price hasn't gone up that much. It has gone up a little bit, but it's still a lot cheaper than the regular grocery stores. The next thing we stocked up on is some extra oats. So normally for our breakfast oats, I do use the steel cut oats, but I have these as a backup in case we run out of steel cut oats. And also I do use these in a lot of other recipes. For example, these make really great granola. I also use them in cookies and overnight oats. So once in a while, I will cook them on either the stovetop or in the instant pot for our morning oats, but usually they get saved for other recipes. And I just really like the quality of this brand as well. They are organic, they are sprouted, and they are glyphosate free. And so this 
bag is going straight into storage, I still have some previously opened oats to use up first. So again, I didn't wanna be running to Costco within the next couple months. So I'm just stocking up a little bit extra and hopefully this should last us for about six months before needing to purchase them again. And so that brings me to the other oatmeal that we stocked up on. This is the one that we use pretty much every morning. I will just make a big batch in the Instant Pot and we will eat that basically Monday through Friday. Of course, we add different toppings and like add different frozen fruits to it, but this is pretty much our staple. These are the quick cooking steel cut oats, also organic and glyphosate free. I think the quality is really good and they cook up really quickly in the Instant Pot. I have been buying this brand from Costco for a while. I did notice the price is going up quite a bit on these. I'm wondering if I'm going to need to do a price comparison and maybe change brands because our morning breakfast is getting a lot more expensive. But for now, again, we just wanted a second backup bag. I still have some to finish off and hopefully this one will last us for about six months as well. Up next, let's do cashews. I was out of cashews and I use these mainly for vegan cheese and for making salad dressing. So one of my favorite dressings of all time is to have cashew cream as the base and then you can make it into a cashew cream ranch. You can add hot sauce and make like spicy cashew cream. You can even add maple syrup and do like a sweet cashew cream, vegan stretchy mozzarella. So many different options for raw cashews. And I do really like the price and the quality of the ones at Costco. I find that they're pretty much the best Deal. So these are definitely a staple in our vegan household. Dried apricots. I have just been so fruit obsessed during pregnancy that I will eat fresh fruit, dried fruit, doesn't matter. I like love it all right now. So these were really calling to me. I was actually going to buy some other dried apricots at another store and they were so expensive. And I was like, I'm gonna wait for Costco and check the price there. These were decently priced, not super inexpensive, but not outrageous either. These are really great just for snacking on, of course, but you can also add them into salads or into desserts or energy balls. And they're also a decent source of iron, which I found out when I did that iron meal prep. So during pregnancy, I've been focusing on healthy whole food forms of things like iron, calcium, and protein. So when I saw these, I was like, oh yes, iron. These are good for that as well. Decaf coffee. I feel like this is like a post pregnancy staple. I know that some people do drink caffeine when they're pregnant or even after pregnancy, but I am trying to limit caffeine. So I have been using actually a different brand of decaf coffee during pregnancy, but it's quite expensive. So I think that for after pregnancy, I'm going to be switching over to this Kirkland brand of decaf coffee. My husband also doesn't mind to drink decaf. We're not really big caffeine people. We just really like the taste of coffee. So this is going to be for after baby comes. I'll be switching over to Kirkland. Two impulse buys, which honestly for me is not bad. And I've already opened them because I was just dying to to try them. So both of these were actually on sale, which is what inspired the impulse purchase. This first one, I've actually purchased these before. They're pretty good. I think that it would be really easy to make these yourself at home, but the sale price was pretty good and it does take a little bit of extra effort to make them. So I thought let's just buy these already made ones. So these are called Heavenly Hunks. They are oatmeal and dark chocolate cookies. They are of course vegan. They are also non-GMO and gluten-free as well as glyphosate free. They do have a coconut flavor. If you're not a big fan of coconut, you may not like these. My husband doesn't really like coconut, so usually I end up eating them all. But it is nice to have in the evening. You can have some with your tea and they just make a nice little dessert. And these I had never even heard of. I probably wouldn't have even known about them except that Costco sends out their flyer with all the sales in it. So I saw these in there and I was like, these look pretty good, I'm gonna have to try them. So they are organic dark chocolate fig truffles. And basically it seems like it's just all fig inside with a dark chocolate coating. The ingredients are really just figs and dark chocolate. These are also organic, non-GMO, gluten-free and fair trade certified. And I've tried these already. They are not super sweet, but they are very, very tasty. I probably wouldn't buy them again unless they were on sale because I think even the sale price is pretty high, but same as the Heavenly Hunks, these are just nice to have on hand as a sweet treat in the evening. That isn't too terrible. I mean, it's basically dried fruit with a little bit of chocolate, not super, super unhealthy. This is another one that I was stocking up on because we do have some flax left over from my last 
last purchase, but this one was on sale today and it is the organic ground flax. And unopened, this will last quite a while. I think the expiration date is for like next year. Yeah, May, 2025. So this will last quite a long time unopened. And then once it is opened, I just keep it in either the fridge or the freezer. I know ideally it would be great to buy a whole flaxseed and grind it every time before I'm about to use it. But let's keep it real, that's not always practical. And having this already ground one is really nice. We put this in our big batch of oatmeal every week. And then I also sometimes just use it on yogurt or in smoothies. I also use this for baking. It makes, of course, a really nice flax egg. So it's good to have on hand and always good to get those extra omega-3s in. Of course, I had to also get a box of the organic baby spinach. I haven't been buying their boxed lettuce lately. I don't know, I've just read that during pregnancy, you need to be a little bit more careful about those things. But with the spinach, I'm just going to wash it first, and then we usually eat it cooked anyway, so I'm just going to cook this one up. It will be a nice source of iron, and my husband really likes to use it in his soups and stir fries and pasta sauces as well. And I have to say that even with rising prices at the grocery stores, this price of organic baby spinach at Costco is still a great deal. The next two I actually didn't get at Costco, but I intended to, they just didn't happen to have them today. So the first one is chickpeas. Sometimes our Costco does carry really large bags of chickpeas, which I use a lot and dried beans last a really long time. So usually I like to get Costco's big bag, but since they didn't have it, I ran to another store and picked up this slightly smaller bag, which should hopefully still last us a little while. Totally another vegan staple. Again, you can use this for hummus. Roasted chickpeas make a really great snack. You can make these into a vegan cheese sauce, spicy chickpea buffalo wraps. You can even make them into chickpea blondies for dessert. I actually have a whole video with some chickpea recipes in it. I'll link that one down below in case you want some ideas for how to use these up. But I really love to cook chickpeas from scratch, all my beans from scratch pretty much, because it just is so much less expensive. You can control the flavor, you can control the sodium amount, and with an instant pot, it's actually really easy. You don't need to do an overnight soak or anything like that. So I pretty much always buy dried beans now and just cook them up myself. And then the other bean that I was out of, which they also didn't have at Costco, but since I was getting the chickpeas from another store. I got these at the same time. It's these yellow mung beans, also known as mung dal. So these yellow mung beans are actually what Just Egg uses to make their vegan egg product. There are a lot of videos now showing how to make your own at home. I have done a video about it as well. Of course, it's not gonna be exactly the same because of the process that they use to separate the protein is much different than you would do at home, but you can get a pretty similar result. And so I'm going to batch cook some of this into some like vegan egg type recipes. I think I'm actually going to do some testing for these in the oven because pan frying, I just get so tired of doing large batches in a pan. And I think that I can use silicone baking mats to make these into some kind of similar egg type consistency. But I definitely need to do some more experimenting with these and we'll definitely keep you guys posted on how that goes. Next up, this pasta was also on sale. So we picked this one up to have on hand as backup. This pasta isn't really my favorite variety. There's this one that I usually buy at No Frills that I think is a little bit better quality, but this is much cheaper. I've done the price comparison per bag. It's like a dollar less, which when you're buying, you know, nine bags, it actually saves quite quite a bit of money. So we're sacrificing a little bit of flavor for the cheaper option, but pasta is really great to have on hand. I like to usually make a lentil bolognese or some kind of a red sauce for it, but you can also do a pesto, a vegan cheese sauce. Of course, you can add these into soup as well. So very convenient to have as a pantry staple. And then our last item is coconut water. I actually took them out already so that I could lift up the box and show you guys. My husband is a very big fan of coconut water because it is very hydrating and delicious. And this one is just plain coconut. There's no added sugar or any other added ingredients. And this one is a decent price at Costco. You get nine of them in a box. I think I will also be packing one of these in my hospital bag to have for hydration when I'm giving birth. And it's just nice to have a healthy beverage on hand for when you want something other than plain water. So of course, all of these prices will be listed in the description box down below. And if you wanna check out those videos on the chickpea recipes or the mung bean recipes, I will link those both on the screen so that they're easy to get to.